Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you the second way to do problem 212, and this is with the opposite delta. So this is the same problem we have, 100 volt source DC, we have a 5 ohm resistor, 36 ohm, 24 ohm, 12 ohm, 6 ohm, 20 ohm, same, directly same from the book. So instead of the bottom one, which is we took in the first example, this one is going to take the top, and we're going to show you that it doesn't matter which delta that you take. So I'm going to draw this delta over here a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna make a point about it too. Come on, let's not mess it up. There we go. All right, so this one, 36, 12, and 24 is our delta. And we're gonna put our values in there just so we can kind of see. So 36, 36 on this side, which is that. We're gonna have 24 on that side. We're gonna have 12 on the bottom. And we're going to pick our values for this one. So. We're going to call this one RA, this one RB, and this one RC, right? So equals RA equals RB equals RC. So now what we're going to try to do is to pull that into a Y. And so we're going to draw our Y inside of there. So we pick our points, and this is a great way to get the direction of the Y every time, right, too. And remember, R3 is going to mean that the resistor on this side, on the top, equals RC, R3. Ugh, that's a little messy. R3. And then for this side over here, RB, we're going to go R2, and RA, we're going to go R1. Okay, and that's how we kind of keep our um, numbers in line there. I'm just gonna pop this under so it stops wiggling everywhere, hopefully. All right, so let's hope, hopefully that stops it. And so from that, we're gonna be able to take, um, let's see what we got here. We're gonna be able to redraw this circuit. So we're gonna grab our 100, and we're gonna pull this over to our five. And now remember, delta to y. This is the shape of the delta, then this is the shape of the y. So we're going to have one come down, a resistor on that. We're going to have one come out, a resistor on that. We're going to have one come out, a resistor on that. And so we've taken this delta and we've made this y. And now we still have to put these two in. So that's going to be our six. Hang on, we're going to pull this down. And then we're going to pull this one up. So this is going to be our 6, and this is going to be our 20. And again, this is our R3, this one over here on this leg, because we're going to go on this leg, which is this leg. This is going to be our R1. And we're going to go on this leg to this leg. This is our R2. And so now that we have everything kind of set up, oh, we need to tie that one together. There. Now we have everything set up. We can go about solving this. So again, the equations for R1 equal, it's the ones that are next to it. So if I have R1, the ones next to that are RB and RC. So RB times RC over RA plus RB plus RC, the total sum. Same with R2 equals and now we're going to have our R2, find our R2, what are the ones next to it? RA and RC. So RA times RC over RA plus RB plus RC. Then we have our R3. Where is R3? R3 is at the top. The ones next to that are RA and RB. So RA, RB over RA plus RB plus RC equals, equals, equals. Now, there is a slight difference between this one and the last problem, and that difference is that this RA, RB, RC are different. Because remember, before we had the sum of 6, 20, and 12, which equals 38. That's not what we have on this one. This one we have 36, 24, and 12 because we've picked a different delta. We need to make sure that all of these numbers, not just the ones on the top, update. So what we have for RB, 
uh, let's go over here, RB equals 24, 24 times RC equals 12 over the sum of 24, 12, and 36. And so let's just get this next one too. We're gonna have RA and RC. RA equals 36 times RC equals 12. Let's get these all out of the way first. RA equals 36 times RB equals 24. Okay, and then again for the bottom, we're just gonna sum up all of the um, individual resistances, which again are different depending on which delta you pick, but it all comes out to the, to the correct answer in the end as long as you follow through. So for this one, we're gonna have the bottom is 72. 72, 72. Remember, cause sum of 12, 24, 36, we're gonna go 72. And now we're gonna equal this out here. So 12 times 24, 24 times 12 divided by 72 equals four. And remember this is resistance, so ohms. I don't always keep my units in there, but I put them back in at the end. So just so you know, 36 times 12 divided by 72 equals six here, ohms, 36 times 24 divided by 72 equals 12 ohms. So, first thing I want you to notice, compared to mine, remember mine had a whole bunch of decimal points in the answer? If you pick this one, the books magically made a solution that works out really nice to whole numbers. So that's another kind of reason to pick this one, although, like I said, it doesn't matter because in the end it's all gonna work out the same. So, let's do this one, let's finish solving this. So, R3, is gonna be 12 equals 12, R1 is going to equal four, and R2 is gonna equal six, equals R2. So, now we're gonna remember, we do, we're gonna simplify this one more time, just so you can see again. We're gonna do a five ohm there, and then we're gonna have one coming down, and then we're gonna have one coming out, another one coming out, and then we're gonna have it come back, and we're gonna have another one coming out. Forgive me, I'm sitting lopsided on a chair, so this is a little weird to be able to do. That is not even remotely even. Please draw your circuits nicer than that one. That is ugly. All right, I will even draw that. That is too ugly for me. We're just gonna cross that out. Uh, 100. That looks about better. That looks a little better. Yeah, this isn't gonna fly. I'm sitting very like cross-eyed here trying to do it on the corner of a desk. If you notice the pattern here is in like straight, that's actually the straight front of the desk is going in that direction. Anyway, so we're gonna plug our values in. So this is five up there. This is 12 there, four, 20, six, and six. So the first bit that we're gonna do, I'm gonna do in red here. We're going to add these and add these and simplify them. And the second bit we're gonna do is to add these in parallel. So six and six are 12 on that side. So I'm just gonna redraw this really super fast. Boom, boom, boom. God, I can't draw. We're just gonna put our source in there. So this is five, 100, 12. Six and six in series are what? 12, four and 20 in series are 24. So now the parallels have to be added. So that's one divided by 20, uh, excuse me, one divided by 12 plus one divided by 24 and then up to the minus one. 
and that's going to be equal to 8 ohms there. So all of that simplifies out to, can we read that still? Nope, that's off. So let's pull the page up to do this. Positive, negative, 100 comes out 5, 12, and then the next one that we just saw for is 8. Okay, so if you can see, we did 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24 up to the minus 1, and that's going to give us 8. And that's going to be in series with all of these. So this is going to be uh, 12 plus 8 is 20 plus 5. Our total equals 25. So V equals I R. V total equals I total R total. And we're going to plug in 100 equals I times 25. I equals 4 amps. Cool. And that 4 amps, remember, is from the initial part of the problem, the one coming in here. I equals 4. Alright, so again, what I wanted to prove with doing it both ways is, one, it doesn't matter which delta you take to bring it into a Y. As long as you draw your delta over here and then you draw from each of the points of your delta the points of your Y. And this makes sure that you always get the shape right. This also makes sure that you always line up the RA opposite R1, R2 opposite RB, R3 opposite RC. And that way, these conversion math always works out. It's a nice, easy way to remember it. So these are going to get a lot faster and a lot shorter as you do more of them. But make sure you understand this because this is really one of the only ways and one of the fastest ways to be able to solve these more complex circuits, which you can't solve using the previous, uh, previous methods that we've had before. Cool. Thanks, guys.